was happening. Yeah, just got out. You know what time it is, man. Today was another day. Worked slow. Ironically, the work picks up when I'm about to leave. I don't think they want to compete against me. Feel me? They definitely don't. They don't want that kind of smoke. They'd rather have their wins in the fashion that they wanted it. If the work was slow, the whole day the work was slow. Why they had the convict slash informant slash undercover cop slash Uncle Tom slash a lot of things that's not good. <laughs> but it's all good. It was easy day. Now I mean shit like this is like I gotta find something just to waste that other energy off. You feel me? Cause I usually like to exhaust myself. But now, you feel me? I see a lot of niggas already mad, man. I just did eight hours of abuse. What else do you want from me? They rather have me walk out of here talking about how much I hate it, and that's when they have smile on their face. But they don't like when you dance out of it. Feel me? It's all good, man. I already know they don't want nothing from me. Nothing good is going to come out of their mouth for me. I know that for a fact. So I don't even care how they feel. I can care less how you feel, how you felt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that being said, you know what I mean? See my head off, toe off from the flow up. I damn near threw up. <laughs> anyway, check it. We on our way, we walk in, feel me? Today it was alright, like, it is what it is, you know what I mean? They try to discourage you from not wanting to work and everything else. Holding work hostage. Most of the time it's like, you know, it seems like it may be the whole building like that. But I don't care, man. I still get paid for it. That's the crazy part about it. I still get paid for it. They still can't stop the grind. I'm still focused more than ever. I'm more determined than ever. Reason why? You just making noise. When you hear those kind of noise, they just making. I don't even think sometimes I don't even hear it. When I rewatch this, I don't even hear those noise. So it just make it seem like I'm just cursing somebody out for no reason. Then I'm like, oh, that's very interesting. <laughs> you feel me? Because you don't hear it as bad as I hear it sometimes. Now, I'm, I'm watching a video and it's not as bad as it sounds in a video because it's like, it seems like it's like very shallow or far away or you don't even hear it at all. Then I'm like, damn. Imagine if somebody was on the other end watching me somewhere in the near future and it's like, yo, this. He got a profound mouth. Ain't nobody did no noise so hell. Feel me? They make it seem like I'm crazy. But you have to be of the time to know. Steady Bible. I don't like when people use the Bible as a, a point. Like every time we a person is going through something, they tell you, pray. Like what? I don't like that. I do not like that at all. Then they'd be like, read the Bible. I'm like, mm. that's something I was supposed to be doing already. Praying is something I was supposed to be doing already. Reading the Bible is something I was supposed to be doing already. You feel me? So what else are you telling me right now? That if I read the Bible and pray and everything else like that, that somehow, in some way, miraculously, these people will stop being an asshole. Come on, man. Like, my intentions are already good, man. It doesn't matter how good I am. I cannot... There's, there's a problem I have with racism. You feel me? In politics and racism, is never going to mix. It's never. 
there's racist people who's passing the law already. So you can pass all the law you want, but you cannot change a person's behavior. You just can't. You can't make somebody do something that they can't. You can take the horse to the well, but you can't make the horse drink the water. You just can't. It has to want to do it. And that's the problem with racism itself. We are passing all this hate crime. We passing this. We passing that. They, they haven't passed nothing for African Americans, obvious. Only the civil rights that we had to fight for. You feel me? But everything else is for every other group that benefited of us that came here. But yet, they want to they wanna pass, pass politics. They want to pass less white. You know, Coca-Cola made a category. Was it Coca-Cola? Yeah, it probably was. A category of being less white. That's racist, my nigga. I think to suggest, to tell a white person to be less white is racist. It's like, and the, and the category that they list for being less white is, um, sorry Coca-Cola, I love Coca-Cola. I think, ah, shit, I drink Coca-Cola more than anybody in this world. <laughs> but the categories of being less white is being, being it's, it lists a, a group of things like being less confident, be more humble. They are acknowledging these things that overall, we're not saying one individual person. We're talking about the overall, the majority of the things. And the, the things that they've acknowledged, I, I got to look. Let me look at it right now while I speak to you. We got time, man. Fuck that. See, I don't sound crazy saying this. It is Coca-Cola who made that policy of being being less white. It's one of the new policies, and they have to be trained on it. That shit is crazy, man. This is what happens when you lie to a certain group of people and you and you step on the other group of people. It actually works in the other... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it actually works in our favor. Because it's like raising two children, like I've always said. If you're raising two kids and you hard on one and you very soft on the other one, if you're not around, it's going to be very difficult for the one that you were soft on because he's always going require that form of attention you feel me i know the, the rich dad part that tells you tells you that um tells you uh, if you teach the skills and everything else like that but that's just based on uh finance we're talking about character you know what i mean we're talking about we're talking about the inner soul you feel me that's what we're talking about we're talking about real t- things that the things that you can't even touch not things of this world that other person gained a harder skin. You feel me? In the long run, that person lasts. All right, let me just show you something real quick, please. Look at the moon is out, bro. And where is the sun? And that is the moon right there. That's crazy. That's Cali for you, man. All right, let's see. Um... Less white. Yep, it is Coca Cola. Coca Cola try to pass this policy, which, which is first thing is first. Yeah, my train is passing by slowly. First thing is first. Let's give a shout out to Coca Cola for trying to make something happen. You feel me? This is not me, but I just feel like it is racist for you to tell somebody to be less white. You cannot make these people less racist than what they are. They have to individually want to change. You can't blame. Like, I understand Coca-Cola and what they're trying to do. They're trying to take initiative, and they're trying to be in a position of, like, look, we are trying our very best. We don't even have the If America had the answer to racism, I believe they would have solved it already. They wouldn't be using it to their advantage like they have for this known. The reason why they had to use it to their advantage because they don't even have the answer to the mess that they've created. Period. You feel me? Hold on. I got to see the categories of the things that they was listed. That's the most important. They said to be less white is to be less oppressive. So they admit to the fact that they are being... This is a way of the government itself. And Coca-Cola... Let's not even say government. Coca-Cola is acknowledging this. That they've been oppressive. Another way is arrogant. That they are arrogant. They're very nonchalant about a lot of things. They don't, they're, not, they're not bothered by saying things. To be less certain. Like, 
Don't think you know it all because you're white. Basically, that's what they're saying. To be less defensive. Reason why you're defensive because you feel guilty of the things. That, <laughs> you feel me? Shit like that. To be less ignorant. You feel me? Stuff like to be more humble. To listen. Believe. Break with empathy. Break with solidarity. You feel me? And these are just the things to be less white is. Is to be less, and these are all the things that they list: less oppressive, less arrogant, less set, less certain, less ignorant. Be more humble. Listen, believe, and break with empathy. You see, these are the things that they're acknowledging that the overall is. They see, this is Coca-Cola. I'm not even making this shit up. You can read it. All, it's all over the place. You can go to any fucking. It's not on the New York Post. It's probably in the L.A. Times. It's probably you know what I mean. It's all over the place with Coca-Cola. I am not blaming Coca-Cola for what they're doing. I applaud and acknowledge Coca-Cola for what they're doing. But I think to suggest that to your employees, it's kind of racist a little bit. Because then you're suggesting that every individual in your company is guilty of this. You feel me? The reason why they cannot identify who will be, who will fall under this rule. Like, who would it? Like, you can't identify, because it's a disease. You feel me? It's a disease that they have not, they have ignored, they they have ignored for so long. And sometimes, guess what? Some people are racist, not, and they don't even know. By default, they're racist because they, they they're so ignorant. Like the uh, the way the thing shit, the, like the way the the list said, they're so ignorant that they 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 are allow it to happen. Then when they get caught in same situation, they look dumb because they be like, I I'm not I'm I'm truly not racist, and they believe it like they're truly not racist. But it's like the ignorant part of them is like, it's like they can't even accept it. You feel me? So all these words that Coca-Cola was using, they didn't just pick that shit out of a dictionary and be like, that sounds good. That sounds good. This is a way of them acknowledging. They ex- That nigga ain't going nowhere. Look at That shit's less than two miles. <laughs> like, you feel me? Shit like that. Anyway. They are acknowledging these things. Look at, look at what Coca-Cola is acknowledging. You feel me? Look at what they have acknowledged. This is like, we, we ought to applaud them for that. But what I say is racism, or uh, it's wrong for them to do that, because now you are accusing each and every one of them of being that. And I find it very hard to believe that each and every one of them. So I mean, there has to be some of them in there that is truly not. You feel me? Just like the civil rights movement, we wasn't the only ones that fought for it. There was actually white people and Jewish people alongside that for uh, with the civil rights with us, you feel me? So, it's like, I can't categorize. I find it very hard to believe it. Somebody got to convince me that each and every one of them is that. It's kind of hard to believe, you feel me? I just can't believe it. You feel me? But there's a lot of them. And there's a lot of them that I don't even know. So it's a lot. In total. You feel me? I'm just saying. And these are things that we got to deal with. These are some things that I got to deal with sometimes, too, in my own life. You feel me? So shout out to Coca-Cola. I had to bring that up. Shout out to Coca-Cola. You feel me? It's not like I'm making it up, man. Sometimes you got to put out articles because they think I'll be making shit up. So like, let me put out the article. It's on the New York Post. It should be on every major newspaper out there. It's a big story. It's all around. Coca-Cola acknowledged this. and said, yo, y'all got to be... I gotta like y'all gotta fix y'all. Y'all, y'all gotta fix that. It's it's a problem. You feel me? It's like like I said. It's like raising one kid, and you list all that category, and the other kid you so harsh on. You we gotta do two hundred percent more than the other person. Even when we put in two hundred percent, it look like it's even, but we overbeat them. But they gotta make the other person feel better about themselves because they got a soft skin. You feel me? So that's the arrogant, and you gotta be more humble, and you gotta be less certain. Be less certain? How can you tell somebody to be less certain? Like that means you're so much full of yourself. If we take a look at that category, some of those words contradict themselves, but yet it makes sense when you take a look at say a particular uh, person or a group of people, you no know, individual people come together in a group. I mean, we're not pointing to the race itself, because being white to me is a state of mind. Although the skin qualify you to be white, I feel like there's other races that jump into it and it has become a way of talking and a way of acting. That's why those labels were labeled. You understand? 
I'm just saying, my nigga. I'm from New York City. I know what I'm talking about. Don't be mad. I got all these white guys. <laughs> Looking at me with dark glasses, though, like, mmm. No, no, no. Don't get mad. You feel me? This is not just. This is a disease that is, con is, is contagious. That other people who. Let's be frank. The world is black and white. You feel me? And there are things in between that, that sometimes don't know what to qualify it as. You feel me? The black is very certain. It's certain. You feel me? You will see it. But then again, black is very welcoming. You understand what I'm saying? So we have some black people who are damn near white. And they believe it in their soul. Like, I'm black, nigga. I'm, I'm black. My mama was black. And my, my daddy was black. <laughs> you feel me? And they got some people who are just, you know, almost close to being white. And they want to be on the white side bad. But white is not as walk. White is the opposite of black. It's not as welcoming. It just wants its exclusivity. Exclusivity. You feel me? So these people are form of way where they talk like one and act like one. You feel me? Same groups they get accepted. And other groups they're not accepted. You feel me? It's like that. Like that shit is shaky like that. You feel me? Oh, that goes all right, all right, all right. Of course, I forgot about my Asians. They they just be watching us. They like fuck. Like, we are not part of this. <laughs> I can't put them in any category. They're unique on their own. But the truth of the matter, it is what it is. Like, if they got to give you a list, if, it's embarrassing. You feel me? But shout out to Coca-Cola. I'd be damned if somebody had to give me a list on the way how, that I have to behave as a group. Which means Coca-Cola is standing back and looking at be, uh, they, his own people. It's on me, let it be known. Niggas are wasting water. They told you California's running out of water, that's a lie. So that means Calif I said California. <laughs> that means Coca Cola is standing back and observing from a different point of view. They're not wrong. I commend we need to applaud Coca Cola for that. But the only re the only thing I disagree with it's like you putting everybody in a category, which meaning you acknowledging that, yo, some of this shit is like, it's true, my nigga. It's, it seems like, <laughs> Tyra. it seems like, you know what I mean, that it's a behavior. Some people uh, have that behavior by default. You feel me? And that's what Coca-Cola is acknowledging. Coca-Cola is acknowledging that fact. You feel me? But if, if somebody have to tell you how to be less empathy, I mean, be more, be empathy, whatever, be more humble, you feel me, be, be less certain, stop being too sure of yourself, thinking that you're always right, you feel me, and some of the times you're not, but just because of your skin color, you get the, uh, you get that white pass, you feel me, stuff like that, that's what Coca-Cola is indicating, you feel me, I forgot the other, the, be, be less oppressive, Stop thinking you are always the boss. Stop thinking that the position at the top is already a guarantee to you. You feel me? Stop, even if it's yours, stop being oppressive. Stop, stop enforcing your rules and stop abusing it. This is what Coca-Cola is saying. This is what I've been yelling for a long time. That's why I love when my white brothers just come along and tell them something that I've been saying for a long time. Now I'm, I'm at a relief. Cause I've been saying this shit for a long time, my niggas. A long motherfucking time. You feel me? That's what Coca-Cola said. He said, stop being... He said, to stop being less white, you have to be less oppressive. You feel me? Need I read that shit back? Or do y'all get the point? I think they got the point. Maybe I didn't get the point, so I need to. I ain't get enough of it. They had... The, the list was supposed to be longer. Come on, let's be for real. <laughs> <laughs> that list was short. Let's be for real. Let's look at the list again. Oh shit, I done passed it. Let's take a look confronting racism, understanding what it means to be white, challenging what it means to be racist. Whew. They done dive into a whole topic that's making a lot of people uncomfortable. 
You feel me? Of course, the only people that's fighting back is they fight Coca Cola. But it's all good, man. I just I know I, I gotta read the whole article to see what it's worth. It said, "Be less oppressive. Be less arrogant. Be full. Be arrogant is like you being full of yourself. You feel me? Sometimes I'm very arrogant. I can't even lie. Arrogant is almost like you show up yourself. But when it comes to you know your history and everything else." And the things that you associated with, you gotta be less arrogant. Like you feel me? Stop thinking that you must know it all. Be less certain. Stop. You see, arrogant thinking you know it all. Be less certain. Those words kind of fall in line and line. Be less defensive. Why are you always uptick? You feel me? Be less. They're telling you to be less defensive. Like you too. Like you gotta be more humble. After defensive, you got to be more humble because they're basically telling you that compared to other people, you have it good. Why are you so defensive about what you have? You feel me? Like there's something that is wrong in that area. It's like a kid that, it's like you are the kin of, you are the kin of a, so, a so-called place. And you have a prince. And the prince is just being arrogant and being he's been defensive about everything else that he got and it's like damn my nigga you got it all like what else how much more do you want that's what they say when I say how much more do you want after defense, defensive they say arrogant be less humble I mean be more humble you have to humble yourself you feel me this is like a father talking to the talking to the child that they love very much like yo if you continue the way that you continue, if you're not these categories, something is going to happen. You feel me? Basically, that's what they say. It's also saying that, listen, believe. That's crazy. You feel me? And I know some of these people will take it personal. I didn't write that shit. I did not write. I said it in the past, but they went into details. I feel like there should be more lists on that. I think there should be more on the category. They went into details with that. You feel me? And I like to applaud Coca-Cola, you feel me? Because when you have so much money sometimes, and you've been in the game for a long time, there's no need for you to stir up controversy to make more money. You already got the money, you feel me? You already have some form of control over saying customers. Right now, it's like you're at the point where you probably have done, you, you've done all the tricks. You done told all the lies. Now you just feel the truth is calling, you feel me? It's only a certain amount of hugs you can get in a lifetime. It's only a certain amount of lies you can tell in a lifetime. And you done told all your lies and all, this, and, and you ain't tell none of your truth. So you got to tell the truth now. And that's what's going on right now. You feel me? That's what's going on right now. The truth is just coming out and they can't hold it back. Because they, they admit to that fact. And we're not saying it's all of them. You feel me? Those who take the, a hit dog going hollow. If I was to take my shoe off in a room full of people and I throw it, whoever the shoe hits is the one that it, it hurts the most. So if I'm speaking this word, the person who is irritated by it is the one that's in pain. You feel me? If it, doesn't, if it, if it's not, if it does not concern you, you feel me? The reason why I use the word shoe because I remember, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not really deviating, but I'm deviating. I remember when George Bush was president, I think he went to Iraq, and the person took off his shoe and threw it at Bush. In Iraq, that's a form of insult. You feel me? He took off his slippers and threw it at Bush, and Bush, you know, Bush is like a warrior type shit. Nah, it's all right. It's all a Texas guy. <laughs> Bush was a tough guy. I give him that. You feel me? Bush was like, that's all. It's okay. No, no, I'm all right. I'm all right. You feel me? But that's why I use the word shoe sometimes, because they throw it at Bush and they... I think he missed or hit him. You feel me? But the truth of the matter is, what? The people who are going to, woo, I've seen this thing. That nigga try to sneak up on me and hit me with the car. Another white guy. You know how these niggas are, man. They get offended because you use the word white. And to tell you the truth, the only reason why we would use the word white because there's something called black. You feel me? Honestly, 
if you take a look at it, it's not really white, my nigga. Like, I mean, let's let's analyze this shit that we're talking about. It's because of us. That's why saying people are called same colors. Because we are, everybody else seems like they're the same complexion. And we are so far apart, removed from them, that we look black to them. But truthfully and honestly, we are brown. We have dark brown. We have dark brown and less brown. You feel me? And lighter brown. We are all the same complexion, of course. But most people don't want to hear that. But we are so black that we gave them the color white. We gave them the color yellow. We gave them the color brown. All the way are brown. You feel me? Because our complexion was so dark that we basically cut that line with attention. We made tension visible. You dig? And these white people now are mad because that's all of them that's driving by looking at me like, hmm, this guy is very sensible. It's true, my nigga. Y'all got to get your shit together, B. You feel me? It's like watching a loved one that just don't understand. Like, you feel me? We love y'all, so we be like, damn, this shit hurts us. You feel me? Hold on, I'll be back. Nah, I can't get <laughs> I always did that. Am I looking good? I said, yeah, they got mad for me. Oh, yeah, I got it. Let me get okay. yeah. Eleven fifty eight. That should go right away. Yeah, do it. Let me take it back. Take it back? Yeah, I'm gonna put this. Yeah, I'll take that. That should be breaking. Thank you, man. Uh oh. oh. Uh, thanks, man. Yeah, you too. Ah, right, man. You know, I got like 30 more minutes until my bus comes. You have to understand that. These things only come, they can only come from a loving place. You feel me? Anybody that takes such things personal is just a person that is insecure and weak. You cannot take these things personal. You have to just accept it as truth. Because I'm not the one who wrote the article. The article is being written by others. We are not writing these articles. I'm reading. We are not reading the article. I'm not reading this fucking article. I mean, I said I'm not. I'm not writing this article. This article was written by all sorts of uh, news plays and newsletters and everything else like that. You dig? So don't be mad at me. Man. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. Alright, that's it. That's all the song. Feel me? It doesn't make you less white or anything or whatever you want to call yourself. It's just that you got to change that attitude. That's all. I don't know what to name it yet, but I, I got it. Coca-Cola's going to be in the name. You know what I mean? We're going to name it. Damn. What the fuck? How? I don't understand that shit. Damn, that nigga came mad late. Anyway, yeah, Coca-Cola's gonna be in the name.